Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you some affordable mixed media tools that you can use with your watercolor sketch. I got the idea for today's video from a sketch that I drew yesterday for my Patreon supporters. In this particular sketch, I used some mixed media tools, not a lot. So for the signboards here, I use this signal gel stick, which is basically just a red ink and I have a green pen as well and for the words here I used a white gel pen let me show you other examples so for this particular sketch it's pen and ink with watercolor but for these white areas here I used white gouache gouache is basically the opaque version of watercolor so sometimes I like to use gouache, white gouache to cover over areas that I want to be white so in this case here I want the, some of the background to be white I use white wash and for this sketch here I use colored pencils for the lines I could have used a small watercolor brush to paint over the lines with red watercolor paint like this uh, paint here but I decided to use this red color pencil because it's more convenient and for this sketch, I used white gel pen, I used some of the signal gel stick, and I used some colored pencils. The green lines here, they were drawn with the Uniball signal gel stick. There are some red lines here drawn with ink as well. And this line here, this was drawn with color pencil. And you see the words here, the white letters. They were drawn with white gel pen over watercolor. I used color pencils as well to draw this um, tray. So I used orange for that. Here are some lines drawn with the white gel pen. Some markings. These were marked with red watercolor pencils. This were, these, uh, these were drawn with colored pencils as well, red ink, the dots on the ground, they were added on with white gel pens. And for this particular sketch, I used pencil instead of the usual pen and ink for this watercolor sketch. So it's pencil with watercolor. I also used some white gel pen to mark out, uh, to draw out some of the lines. Lines like this, um, small white areas like this, they are very difficult to draw with watercolor. If you want to leave the paper white, it's also very difficult, very challenging to just leave this particular line, this particular thin uh, shape white. Same applies here as well. For this sketch, I may have used some for this sketch, I may have used some colored India inks. I think this I was drawn with colored India inks. And some of the lines, again, they were drawn with these gel sticks. And of course, the letters on the signboard, some of these um, are very difficult to write with a brush. Using a roller ballpoint pen like this is so much easier to add in little details. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the effects that you can get with some of these mixed media tools that I have with me today. Let me just um, go through them one by one. First, we have color pencils. You can use them to draw lines or you can use them for shading. They can create very nice textures on paper. And this particular color pencil, this is a magic pencil that has different colors in the lead here, in the core here. So as you draw, the colors will change. It makes the line look very interesting. I'm going to use this later on. And these are some of my favorite ink pens. These are the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. The ink is waterproof when dry and the ink dries very fast and these are very affordable. These pens come in different colors. The ones that I usually use are red, black, green, purple and blue. They come in fluorescent colors as well but those colors actually hurt my eyes because they are just too bright. So these are the more useful colors. 
Next we have the white gel pens. Again, something that I use very often. This is great for drawing line, for making highlights against dark backgrounds. And here I have some brush pens. These are great for creating thin and thick lines. And of course we have the very classic wooden pencil. And these are actually pigment liners. But these actually have brush tips. If you use brush pens like this to draw thin lines, then it's actually no different from using roller ballpoint pens like this. When choosing your materials to use with watercolor, if you are using these mixed media tools first before watercolor, make sure that they are waterproof when dry. So for example, among all the tools here that I have, these brush pens, they are water-based brush pens, so they are water soluble. It is best to use them after you use watercolor. Basically use them to add details later on. But for tools like this, you can use it before for applying watercolor. All right, let's um, draw something with all these tools that I have here. Let's start with the magic pencil. I'll be drawing the same thing, but using different tools so they can see the difference. So this is the magic pencil. As you draw the lines, will change colors. So this is a really fun tool to use. This is a coffee stand. Let's apply some watercolor to this coffee stand. By the way, a lot of people um, ask me what this brush is. This is the Navskaya Palitra brush. It's a sable hair watercolor brush. All right, let's move on to the next. I'm gonna use this Uniball Signal gel stick to draw the next signboard. So again, it looks very different. I can also use another color to draw another one just right behind. And once again, I'm going to color the signboards. Later on, when the watercolor paint is dry, I'm going to add details onto the signboard using other pens and pencils. Let's use a pencil now. And now I'm going to use this pigment brush pen. So for this particular tool, I can get thin lines, I can get thick lines, depending on how I actually hold the pen. I just realized I forgot to draw in the other side of the signboards. So let me just quickly add them in. And of course, you can use watercolor to draw as well. I haven't used these color pencils yet, so let me just use some of the colors. So color pencils, you can use, this for, use them for shading as well. On rough surface paper, you are going to get very rough textures like this. This paper is watercolor paper with cold press texture. So a lot of the white of the paper actually will show through. And this is red. And for purple, I'm going to shade this part here. And maybe let's draw a barista standing outside. So I'm using this magic pencil draw this barista that is standing outside the store. It's really quite fun to be using this magic pencil. So I'm going to use this to, to create some shadows on the ground for all these um, stands. For all these stands at the top, I want some shadows going on as well at the bottom.
let me add some plants, some potted plants in the background. Oops, I accidentally touched the wet paint. So let me just draw some potted plants in the background and then use the green pencil to draw those plants. And for the plants here, I'm going to use ink instead of the pencils. And let's put some paint onto those lines. So as mentioned earlier, the signal gel stick, it's waterproof when dry and it dries very quickly. So I can actually just paint over the lines like this very quickly. And of course, color pencils are going to be waterproof. Now that most of this are dry, let's add in additional details. I'm going to be using the white gel pen first. So let's write something. The trick to using white gel pen is to basically write on something that can give you contrast. So it is actually best to use white against black. So this green is actually sort of like a medium value. So the contrast is not that great. But at least I can still see the wood. So it's still good enough. So it's going to work better here. You can also use white gouache. So this is the white gouache that I use. The brand is Daler Rowley. Actually, different manufacturers. I think they are the pins. Their pins would be of a similar quality. But to use a white gouache to write or draw details, you need a small brush. So even with this small brush, it's a bit difficult to write words like this compared to the gel pen, the white gel pen. Here are some pens that I forgot to show you earlier. These are the Derwent Graphic Line Painters. These are supposed to have opaque paint. So as mentioned earlier, when using pens like this, it's best to have contrast. So Let's see if I'm going to get any contrast with blue against this red. It looks like it works quite nicely. In fact, I think I might actually want to draw another signboard just using this this pen. The ink flow is actually quite generous. You can also use color pencils onto watercolor once it has dried. Now when you use pencils onto watercolor, you will be able to see the texture, the lines more clearly. But if you use watercolor onto color pencil, the watercolor is going to cover the pencil. So let me switch to a different color. Let me use this line painter again. Sometimes the ink would actually uh, leak, so be careful about this. It's really very convenient to be writing with <laughs> these pens. I cannot imagine using a watercolor brush to write thin lines like this. It's, uh, you can definitely do it, but it's going to be very, very challenging.
All right, for the rest, I think I'm just going to color them with watercolor. For magic pencil lines like this, sometimes I feel that it's better to just leave them alone to really highlight the lines. So for example, just now I drew the line art for this barista, but when I colored this with watercolor, the watercolor now attracts the attention and the lines sort of um, fades away. So let me just draw another character here. Let's see if I can use this ink pen and draw over the pencils. It's a bit difficult to draw over the pencils. And now I'm applying some watercolor over the ink lines. Alright, so this is what I have. I think I have used uh, all the permutations of tools that I can think of. Let's take a closer look at this, um, this drawing. This is watercolor over the signal gel stick. The ink is waterproof and dry. So for this first signboard that I drew, I drew it with the magic pencil. And I also drew the this rectangular box or this square box here and then I colored it with watercolor after I colored it with watercolor the lines they do not stand out um, anymore because this shade here this wash here is just uh, too overpowering but for lines here you can still see them uh, very clearly so that's the contrast these two signboards were drawn with the signal gel stick painted with watercolor and then I use the white gel pen over the watercolor wash and here I use gouache so using the white gel pen or using pens like this it's so much easier to draw uh, additional details to add additional details this was drawn with the graphic line painter and these were drawn with the color pencils and for the signboards here this was painted with watercolor and i used colored pencil over the watercolor and because i used the pencil over the watercolor i can still see the texture of the pencil quite prominently if i were to use pencil first and then cover it with watercolor i will sort of lose the texture of the pencil somewhat and also I will lose the contrast of the lines of the pencil and ink does not work very well over pencil and for this drawing I probably should have left this alone without any watercolor so that I can show off the really colorful lines when you use the magic pencils to draw lines like this they can be really quite interesting and eye-catching and I sort of like the shadows that I can get with the magic pencils. They are really nice in my opinion. Using mixed media with watercolor is definitely very fun. I really enjoy using mixed media with watercolor, although I don't use them as often. But every time I use them, it's really fun. And the results, the effects that I can get with them, it's really very different from just using watercolor alone. Now my recommendation for uh, those people who want to try out mixed media would be to get something that is not that expensive to start with. You can get a box of color pencils like this. This is not too expensive. There are only 12 colors. But if you really want to save money, maybe you can just get a few, a few magic pencils like this. The Uniball Signal Gel Stick, this is really inexpensive. This is very affordable. Here in Singapore, they cost less than 90 cents, Singapore dollar. So in US, it's going to cost even less than that. Provided you can find them at your local store, your local stationery stores. 
Now, graphic, Derwent Graphic Ink, um, I mean, they are nice, but sometimes the ink, they do leak, and the ink is supposed to be opaque, but usually uh, when I try them on uh, watercolor, sometimes they are not as opaque as I want them to be. So uh, this is not like essential. This is pretty essential, white gel pen. This is made by Sakura, if I am not wrong. It is made by Sakura. It's made in Japan and this particular pen is called Jelly Roll 08. So the white gel pen is essential. Now brush pens like this, I don't think they are essential. So you can save some money, but if you want to get them, you can do so. This pigment liners, they come in different colors. I don't think they are that essential, especially if you are going to get the Uniball Signal Gel Sticks. These are much cheaper and worth the money. Now these are more expensive. I would, uh, between these two, I would definitely go with the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. All right, that is all for today's tutorial. I have some of these products already reviewed on my website and also on my YouTube channel. I will put the links in the video description below. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Bye.